Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today we're gonna to have a lot of fun creating oxygenating face masks. Now, oxygenating face masks are those products where they seem like an ordinary product and when applied to the skin and rubbed in, they start to bubble up just from air exposure. Now, as you can see, I didn't use a pressurized or special container for that. And this kind of product can be applied to sheet masks and then sealed into sachets for single use uh, oxygenating mask sheet application. Or it can be supplied just like this in a very simple bottle that a consumer can dispense and apply at the time of use. They're based on ether chemistry, in particular, methyl perfluorobutyl ether. Now this particular substance is perfectly safe in personal care products, but because it's an ether, it has a very low boiling point, which means when it gets in contact with the air, it starts to bubble up. Now in this particular product that you're going to see me create today, I'm using very readily available materials and of course a specialized source of that ether material to create a very simple oxygenating face mask product. You could of course apply this in sheet mask presentation. You could also apply some glitters, some sparkles, some colors. And I'm also using a really cool aroma that smells like a fizzy lolly, just to give a consumer a real fizzy experience from using their product. You of course can use whatever fragrance you like. So let me show you how it's done. Now here I have started with my water and just my propane dial and I'm just going to start stirring this under low shear because then I'm going to add a fair bit of carbamer. This carbamer is going to be used to help stabilize the ether compound in the formula to help trap the product inside the product so I don't need to pressurize it. In forming a polymeric network like this, I can then easily add some powders or sparkle materials that will be stabilized by the polymeric network while it also helps stabilize the ether. Now in this phase here, I have my surfactants and that just helps get an, a bigger bubbling effect from the product. They actually feel quite tingly and effective on the skin but it will help provide a very gentle cleanse as well. I've also got TEA present in here to help neutralize my carbamer. This is my product so far. Now I'm going to add that really cool material. I'm using Grand Seal SIW 7100 from Grant Industries. And then we're going to mix it through and then we need to make sure we do pack off our product or keep it in a closed sealed vessel until it's ready for packing. Otherwise we'll get a lot of bubbling because of air exposure. Now, if you wanted to add some effects pigments or other extracts, it's best to add them through in the water phase or when you've just combined your two phases before adding the Grand Seal SIW 7100. And that's just so that we can get homogeneous mixing of all materials before we add that final material, which is going to help create that oxygenating effect. And there we have it, our finished product. Now we need to seal this off and store it, pack it off into its containers. Again, because of the carbon and the polymer network I've set up, we can pack it off into even basic packaging like this, or you can pack it into sheet masks for single use applications. And there you have it. 
How simple and fun was that? Made possible by using simple but foundation cosmetic materials as well as a special material that enables the oxygenation process to happen safely, effectively and ooh, with a tingle that's really going to please your consumers. Happy formulating!